It's been a while. I feel like I say that in every single video that I make since I made my last video. That was a really nice video. The video where I actually did a music collab with Saint Arnaud. That was really, really cool. If you haven't watched it, <laughs> you can watch it here. Man, life has been pretty hectic. It keeps getting busier and busier and busier and busier. You know, one of my life goals, that's a little bit dramatic. One of my YouTube goals for this year was to manage to upload a video every single month one video every single month and you might be thinking whoa one video every month there's like youtubers that post like weekly there's daily vloggers or other people that post like five or six hundred tiktoks a day and all you're doing is one video every month on youtube Pfft, easy peasy am i right I am so good at being inconsistent because I've never managed to upload consistently even within my own low low standards. It kind of sucks, but here we are. But to be fair, I think my reasons of being absent on YouTube for a good while is pretty acceptable given that I've been so busy with everything that's been going on, especially moving among other things. Oh boy. It's not that I've not been working on videos or anything like that. I actually recorded a video a couple of months ago. I am still in the process of editing that. I mean, I'm really excited about the video. It's gonna be something original. Uh -huh. Wow, look at me being all original. Look, I feel incredibly scatterbrained, not to mention it is so hot right now. I am dying. I don't understand why it's been so hot. This heat wave has been absolutely brutal all climate change thank you so much for your service i guess we don't have a lot of time left do we mm -hmm. okay maybe i should move on a more positive note my place seems really nice i'm still in the process of settling down and trying to hang all of my paintings and rearrange my existing furniture and waiting for other furniture to arrive <laughs> Oh my, I had like no internet for like a week. So the amount of data that I had to use was unbelievable. Boy, that was a, <laughs> that was quite a challenge, I must say. I never noticed how challenging it was for me to not use the internet for a while, but I was using the internet this whole time. I was just using data. So it's kind of scary to even think that I couldn't even go a day without the internet. I feel like I could, but it would be really, really difficult. I wish I could say that I had the will power to be like oh yeah no internet easy but no i am incredibly weak i have no self-control and it seems that that's not gonna be something that's gonna be achievable but it should be achievable i feel like i could do it maybe i should actually reassess my entire life and consider doing something like this <laughs> i've just been very busy as always i am not dead i am still here i am alive i am very 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 alive things are coming please be patient and thank you for being patient you know what i feel like it's time for a little bit of honesty listen i didn't really think that people cared or watched my youtube channel at all there was this period of time where that was becoming a little bit more comforting to hear and i was like oh wow i feel like i don't have to feel so pressured about uploading videos anymore it was getting to the point where i was putting a lot of pressure on myself i was so anxious and so stressed about wanting to be consistent youtube is supposed to be my hobby is not supposed to feel like something that i am forcing myself to do there's a lot of other responsibilities and priorities that i need to tackle on first before i can continue uploading videos as i want to i don't know once i realized that the biggest pressure on having to upload videos was by myself and i was able to let that go little by little that was really freeing in a way because as someone that has a relatively small YouTube channel compared to other people, I haven't really gotten experiences of people being like, yo, where are you? Where are your videos? A lot of the pressure has come from myself and if I'm not really adhering all of that pressure, then I can do whatever I want. I could, you know, take a longer break. I could also not. 
upload, nobody would really care. I think I finally started to understand and be grateful of some of the perks of having a smaller channel and not really feeling a lot of external pressures, which I thought that was really, really nice. However, I thought it was very ironic that after that realization, I'm not even kidding, a few days later, I remember receiving a Discord message on my Discord server, and it was from someone telling me, hey, what happened to you? all of the Juice on B content? Where is it? Where are those videos? At that point, I was like, oh my gosh, it seems that there are people that actually <laughs> care about my content and my videos. And I thought that was so ironic because as soon as I came to appreciate that not a lot of people watch my videos, I don't think anyone really cares if I'm going to make videos or not. There was a comment that did exactly that. And I was like, oh, so this is how it feels. And I think at that time, I finally got to understand what it feels like when other people are commenting on other people's YouTube channels to be like, where are your videos? I miss your videos. When is your next video going to be? In a much smaller scale, but I cannot even imagine if there were thousands of comments and people just tweeting me or commenting on my video saying, when is your next video? That must be a lot of pressure for a lot of people. So much pressure. Ultimately, a lot of that pressure came from myself. And sometimes I feel like I have unrealistic expectations about myself and I need to really reassess that and make sure that I'm able to realistically achieve my goals and have a good balance. I've seen a lot of people not having that balance, including myself, if I'm being completely honest. And I don't think any of us are meant to be productivity machines. I feel like I'm derailing this conversation to somewhere completely different to what is supposed to be a simple update video. And if you're watching all the way to the end of this video, thank you. And if you're not, thank you as well. I am still here, things are coming, and just wanted to say hello. Feel free to comment whatever you want. I don't know, how, how are you? Um, okay, that should be everything. I'm very tired. I need to continue doing other things. I don't wanna be fixated on complaining about this video not being perfect because I am trying to beat Resistance, which is a book that I've been reading, not the title resistant. I need to stop rambling. Oh, why am I rambling so much? Okay, anyways, I think I'm being too hard on myself. I'm gonna go. I'm very tired. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, cool. That should be good.